I'm down at street level, whatever you want to call it, at the site. So if you're looking, just, you know, right here, it looks like everything's as it was. But if you walk onto the public park, which doesn't look public, thanks to this wacky fence, um, you'll start to see where things have been cleared out near the proposed compressor site. Bear with me, I'm gonna walk as fast as I can. <laughs> the problem with any brush clearing on this site is that the site soil is toxic for many, many, many feet. There was no notification that they were disturbing the site. Mind you, Enbridge owns the site and they can most likely do some sort of caretaking on it. However, it's a toxic site. There are things I presume would have to be done, people to be notified, permits to be allowed in order to do anything on this site. And yes, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Let's see. You can also see how close homes are to this ridiculously small site. The bridge. We're coming up. This is the uh, MWRA. It's where many, many, many gallon, <laughs> gallons of sewage are processed. Um, so here you can see trees have been knocked down. Now that might be a mistake, but still, nothing is supposed to be touched on this site. You can see over here, all the way down here, all cleared off. People do use this park here for their, to walk their dogs and just for exercise. There was recently an art in the park festival you can see this here. So I hope this gives you a better idea of what we mean when we say there is clearing going on at the site. <laughs> 